let us look at the first question for today's session let's look at this question so what is given here see there are uh, some conclusions that is given so you have to see which of the statements is the correct statement with which you will get the given conclusion so reverse syllogism is in, uh, in reverse syllogism questions you are given a conclusion set of conclusions and you have to see which of the statements will lead to the given conclusion generally it's opposite to how the normal syllogism questions come in normal syllogism what is um, in normal syllogism what happens you have a statement followed by conclusions and you have to see which conclusions follow here you are given conclusions followed by statements and you have to see which statement will result in the given conclusion see uh, whenever you have questions on reverse syllogisms uh, one issue that lot of students face is uh, what uh, I, I get feedback is that it is very time consuming because question will be actually very easy but you have to uh, represent each uh, each statement in the form of a venn diagram and see if the conclusion follows like that you will have to do for five sets of statements which is very time consuming correct so uh, how do you go about solving questions on syllogism the best i mean reverse syllogism the first thing that you have to see is that is you have to try and eliminate options which are not true okay that will really help you save time so there are some tricks that you should know before you uh, start solving questions of this type the first thing is this see if in the given set of conclusions right there is a negative quantifier what are negative quantifiers either some not is a negative quantifier correct what are negative quantifiers some not and no correct these are two negative statements that generally come in the questions so if any of the negative quantifiers are there in the given conclusion that means that in the statement also there has to be a negative quantifier why because only if you have a negative quantifier in the statement then only you will be able to get a negative conclusion okay so uh, for those of you who are uh, new to syllogisms please refer back to the basic videos of syllogisms because when i say this terms like quantifier i'm not sure if you uh, know because you will need to know the basics to understand this uh, if you don't understand please go back and refer to the basics and then come back and see this archive it will be clear to all of you okay so as i said whenever there is a negative quantifier in the conclusion in the statement also there has to be a negative quantifier now let us take this question itself here look at the conclusion what are the conclusions some trains are buses no station is platform here no station is platform is a negative statement so to get this negative conclusion basically to get this negative conclusion in the statements there has to be a negative statement for sure look at option 5 what is option 5 all stations are buses some buses are platforms some platforms are stations here there is no negative statement at all so using these three given statements definitely you cannot arrive at this conclusion so you can eliminate this option okay so this is how you eliminate option 5 now uh, look at option two here now what is given here it is given no station is a platform look at option two what have they given they have given all platforms are stations is that true if this is the case then this conclusion will definitely not come again eliminate this see as i said uh, the actual way of solving this question is how you will have to draw the venn diagram of each and every statement and see whether these conclusions follow but that is very very time consuming so what we should try to do is you should try to eliminate options which are not correct and check with the remaining options so option 5 as i said has no negative quantifier I mean, neg negative statements so we removed that option two again all platforms are station is given and in the conclusion we need no station as platform so that is also eliminated now let us look at statement four okay what is given in statement four no train is platform some platforms are buses no buses station again what you have another thing that you the second uh, important thing that you should know is that some trains are buses see when do you get a definite conclusion like some trains are buses when in the statement okay if and only if in the statement there is some all okay the word all the universal positive quantifier is there in the statements then you will get such conclusion that is some trains are buses okay or let us say if in the statements there was a, a statement like some buses are trains then the just the reverse of that right some trains are buses that can be true otherwise if i have to get a conclusion like this there should be some statement which has the word all in it now look at statement four there is no 
statement which has the term all in it okay so i can eliminate statement 4 also okay I hope it is clear. Generally, to arrive at positive conclusions, right, you need positive statements and especially to get this particular statement, some trains or buses, either the converse should be there in the given conclusion or at least some statement which says all should be there. That is not there in option 4. So, I eliminate option 4 also. Now, you are left with option 1 and 3. Just draw the Venn diagrams for these two options and check which is the correct one. That will give you the answer. Now, let us look at option 1. All platforms are, all platforms are trains. No train is a station. So, no train is a station. Some buses are platform. So, some buses are platform. Let us draw it like this. See, I am drawing it with the minimum overlapping. Okay. And I am drawing the basic diagram. So, now with this, what is the conclusion that you get? Some trains are buses. Yes, definitely some trains are buses. That conclusion follows. Now, no station is a platform. See, it is already given that no train is a station and also it is given that all platforms are trains. Basically, platform is coming under the set train and no trains are station. So, definitely no station is a platform. So, that is also true. Correct? So, the correct answer for this question will be option 1. 